No, I love Misk. Yeah, me too. Misk, Misk you know I love him. And I know he ain't raped that girl. Because I have plenty of women, and I used to call them bitches and hoes, but I'm going to be respectful tonight. I have a lot of women that uh try to fuck with me just because. And they might be on some old shit, but I look broke as a motherfucker. <laughs> a bitch ain't gonna try that bullshit with me. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they're gonna get nothing with me, and I appreciate you, hoes. Let me take your head off. <laughs> I appreciate you, hoes. Don't think you're gonna get nothing with 39 cents. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that shit was hanging over him for years. Yeah, you know, it they did. finally They finally dropped the charges due to lack of evidence. Yeah, they did. Because the bitch didn't want, and I'm going to call her a bitch because she tried to get my nigga caught up. The bitch ended up, uh, she ended up being on some bullshit. And I don't know if Mr. Capay the bitch, but if he did, way to go, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with No Limit. Mia X, that's my darling. I just got off the phone with Mia X. Videos, like me and you, just the mm -hmm. other day with me and Mia X. I rapped on one of her, I rapped on her son. I ain't going to say one of her sons. Her son, Joe Jack. Jack Joe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's hot right now. He been killing it. He been killing. But he on that New Orleans shit. You get what I'm saying? But he been on that ass. Jack Joe. Joe Jack. I'm going to say it like that because I don't know which one it really is. But I got on his song. And me and Ace called me the, the other day with Gangsta Boo on the line uh, telling me she appreciate me. I, I am, hold up before you say something. She said, I am the C murder of 3-6 Mafia. And that's some mm. real nigga shit. Okay. I, I can see that. I, I, I see where they're going with that. The C murder of 3-6 Mafia. Okay. Yep. And that's some real nigga shit right there. That's uh, some real shit. Well, uh, I just interviewed Young Buck. Oh, Young Buck? Nigga, that's yeah. my dog. Well, he was telling me at one point that he had almost joined 3-6 Three Six Mafia. 3-6 Mafia, yep. Sure did. You remember all that? But he ended up hooking up with Cash Money. And then after Cash Money, he ended up hooking up with 50 Cent. I know the story. No, right. he right. He right. He right like a motherfucker. I was, I'm Paul right hand man. I ain't gonna say I was his right hand man. I'm Paul right hand man. You fuck with DJ Paul, you are gonna have to worry about me. You get what I'm saying? You fuck with Juicy J, you are gonna have to worry about me. Simple and plain. So you better hope one of these whole ass niggas kill me before you fuck with any one of them niggas. You get what I'm saying? But yes, sir. But I almost signed with us, but Buck was a real nigga. And I ain't gonna say was a real nigga. He was a real nigga. And Buck was smart as a motherfucker. I learned from Buck. That's why I'm doing my solo thing right now. But I'm still fucking with the 3 Six Mafia. Hold up. Hold up. I'm still, I'm still fucking with the 3 Six Mafia. Don't y'all get that shit twisted. This is what it is. That's what it become. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. WHMG, hard hit money game, nigga. Fuck what you heard. Yeah, man. Buck has had a really interesting life, man. I mean, he actually started out with cash money when he was like 14. Yeah. And then and then he ended up leaving and then going with juvenile. And then, yeah. Yeah. You know, and then ended up with 50 Cent and then all the drama that, that, that went on with that. And I got to say, the one thing that I really respect with all the back and forth that he's had with 50 Cent, with 50 Cent releasing, you know, their personal phone calls and, and on the everything else that. like that. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but Young whole... Buck really, really didn't speak bad about him. He no, actually he spoke respectfully the I'm whole not time. Speak bad. I can talk about 50 Cent, but I can't talk about Paul and Juicy. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He don't smoke to. Real niggas don't do that. Real niggas don't pillow talk. Real niggas don't talk about they niggas that they've been riding with all this time to get this money. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So I can talk about somebody else. So Buck did what he's supposed to. But Buck been a real nigga all my life. 
<laughs> I think I'm a little older than him, but <laughs> he's, still, he's still been a real nigga all my life. I fuck with him. There you go. But Buck will put out mixtapes with up and coming artists on all the mixtapes, and he'll get on every song. Only reason I didn't do that shit because Buck was doing it. When I saw <laughs> Buck doing that shit, I said, damn, that's a good idea. So why should I not? By me being a hood nigga, street nigga, get on a song with every nigga that's hot in every city and put that shit out as a big thing. That's enough money in this rap game for everybody. I can take a crowd of motherfuckers, well, I can't take a crowd of motherfuckers, but I can take a part of that crowd and get on for send out every song that I do. And they're going to make some money and I'm going to make some money. Only thing you got something to do with it is the percentage. 